Hey everyone, Bondi here. Uh, it's a beautiful day on the Cat Beach. I came down here uh, yesterday, but it was so windy. Um, the sand was blasting everywhere. And um, the recording that I made, you couldn't hear it because the wind was so loud. So I'm gonna try again today. I mean, the wind was really um, extreme yesterday. So, looks like the tide is out. I don't know how much sea glass I'm gonna find, but we shall see, right? Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Really, really good. Um, I like to get out at the ocean and uh, pray. There's some mossy rocks for you there. Because um, it's good to get out and to enjoy the blessed days that the Lord has given us. All right, so the Lord has given me a couple of songs to sing today. Um, I'm going to sing the one that he laid on my heart yesterday that didn't come out too well because of the wind. And then I'll sing the one that he laid on my heart uh, today. Um, seems like he's really laying on my heart a lot of classic songs. And here's a piece of sea glass. It's just a little piece. A lot of class, a lot of classic songs. See, this looks like a piece, but it's a rock. And um, like classic religious um, Christian songs that I learned when I was very, very young. Um, oh, it feels so nice not to have to wear a big heavy coat. Oh, here's a green piece. Remember, I've been looking for a green piece. It's not as big as I'd like it, but I'll take it. Uh, thank you, Lord. Um, let me turn the camera around. Okay. All right. I did the zoom button. Let me just show you. Give you a good look before I get started. Even though there are cars up there, people uh, eating their lunch, I pretty much have, once again, the whole beach to myself. There's a walkway up there where people walk or ride their bikes. Um, sometimes you'll see soldiers come by. But anyway, I'm going to leave it like on half zoom, so I don't have to bend over quite so far to show you guys the sea glass. So, the song that God laid on my heart yesterday, I'll sing last, because the one that he laid on my heart today, oh, this is gorgeous. The one they laid on my heart today, I haven't sang it in a while. I learned it when I was a little girl in church, and it used to be one of my favorite songs in church. And um, so I want to sing it while the words are fresh in my head. Okay? All right. So you ready? It's an old one. Um, I'm probably showing my age here by singing it. But that's okay. Age is only a number. I thank God for every day that he's let me live on his earth. There's one of our helicopters. God, we just pray for the soldiers. Navy people, pilots, bless them, Lord, load up those helicopters, get them in tip-top shape, ready for what's to um, sadly come upon America. Speaking of the North Korea war that God has showed me that is on its way. Evil is on its way to the land. You can look on my page and see where I prophesied that several years ago. Um, it's not something I'm wishing, but God declared it. If he says it, then um, I declare it for him. All right. So, um, it's a song called He Lives. And um, I just want to say that I thank God for our Constitution, constitutional rights. 
I thank God for our freedom of speech. Praise the Lord. I praise God for our freedom of religion, which I'm about to express right now with my freedom of speech. So you express your freedom of religion, take advantage of the mercy God's given us in this country. You express your feet, uh, freedom of speech. It's one of the things I really like about our current president, Donald Trump, is I don't agree with everything that he says. Most people don't agree with everything he says government or at work or wherever we all have our differences but he definitely believes in utilizing um, his freedom of speech he stands up for um, his uh, faith which is Christianity and he's not ashamed and I give God praise for that so um, in a day when so many people are coming against Christianity so um, anyway tides out right now. Maybe I'll go over there next. So I'm going to sing. I know I've been saying it like four times already, but I don't know. There's some other things I wanted to say. Um, the song he lives. Okay. All right. It goes like this if you don't know it. And then if you do know it, feel free to join in with me. Oh, it's April the 18th. 2019. Oh, this gorgeous aqua piece. Mm, thank you, Lord. I serve a risen Savior who's in the world today. I know that He is with me, whatever men may say. Listen to them singing with me. <laughs> I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer, and just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Yes, he does. He lives within my heart every day. Really, Lord? Okay, I'll sing it again. You ready, guys? Did you get warmed up with me? All right. I serve a risen Savior who's in the world today. I know that he is with me, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy and hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart to anyone who asks him. You ask me how I know Christ lives. He lives within my heart. Gorgeous green. You don't know Jesus as your Savior. Ask him to come into your heart. He'll walk with you and talk with you along life's narrow way. You'll see his hand of mercy, and you'll definitely hear his voice of cheer through the Holy Spirit that lives within us when we get saved. And just the time I've always needed him, and often even before I've even known I'm going to need him, he's always near. So often God will give me revelation of things that are going to take place a year or two down the road. And I haven't even gotten there yet. And it brings a great comfort. It really does. All right. So I don't want to get these people on video because um, I want to respect their privacy. 
But I am going to walk out here to visit the seagulls. No, really. I'm going to lift up my pants. I don't want them to get all wet. Um, to um, see what out, what's out here on this little sandbar. Anything good before the tide comes in. Because, of course, once the tide comes in, I won't be able to see here. I think it was high tide like at uh, 2 o'clock this morning. So, the tide is coming in, even though it's coming in slowly. I'll show you the pretty birds. God's creation. I wish everybody could experience the ocean life all year round and just be like, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 minutes from it. It's such a blessing. But then you have people that really love the mountains, aren't really beach people. And so they probably wish that we could experience the mountain life with the grizzly bears, whatever else is out there, mooses or whatever. I'm recording, but I'm not going to get you on video, okay? I don't want you to think that I'm going to splash you all over YouTube. Can I show your feet? Can I show your feet? Yeah. Look, they're in the water. Cold water. <laughs> they're brave. How y'all doing? Good? Yeah. Good. Enjoy yourself. Precious, 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 precious people. Um, Father, if they're military people, Lord, I just pray that you cover them during the war, encourage them, take care of their family and other families like them in Jesus' name. Okay, not much here right now. I'm going to go over here to this side. There's the infamous drain pipe. I bet you there's a lot of sea glass under there. I bet you there's a lot. Now, I could jump from here to there, but that middle part might sink. And I might get my feet wet. So I'm just going to go around because well, I know it's not that cold today, but I don't know. I don't really want to get my pants wet. They're kind of long, so there's not much room to um, lift them up. All right, so let's see. I don't want to take up all my phone data. All right. I think I'm going to... Oh, I threw this piece back yesterday. I must not have made it in. That's where I always throw it when I'm close to this part. All right, hold on. I'm going to switch and do a wide view. Here's a piece. I'm not sure what that is. It's got the line. It's got, it's got lines in it. Um. All right. So let me sing a song first. It was um. Oh, that's the ship over there. You guys want to see? God bless all those men and women on the ship, the captain. Keep them safe. I wonder if they're getting ready to get deployed. Or if it's just like some call. A brown piece there for them to get back on board. Maybe they're doing detail or something. I have no idea. Um, Here's a green piece. There's lots of little pieces right here. Little piece. There's a little green piece. I take them though because I use them to highlight, you know, little areas that maybe I wouldn't put a full piece of sea glass. Um, all right, so God laid on my heart yesterday the song God Bless America. And so, um, I know many people have sung it before. It is a declarative, declaration song. I'm not declaring it for myself. I'm not declaring it for the viewer. I'm declaring it for the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit, as one of His spokespersons that He has um, declared. 
and assigned and asked to speak things that are not as though they were. I'm aware that the war is coming. I'm aware that it may not feel like God has blessed America. But as Christians, we don't go with what we feel. Feelings come and go, but the Word of God stands forever. And so the time you need to declare something is often not when times are good, but when times say everything different than what you're experiencing. But if you declare it beforehand or during the problem or when times are rough or when there's a lack of faith, I mean, that is faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. So, I'm going to declare by faith that God has not only blessed America before, but will bless it again and is blessing it, even though maybe we can't or don't feel like it's blessed. His mercy will be poured out on this land again. We will recover. He will restore us. And uh, we need, just need to pray through it, lean on Him, trust Him, talk to Him, put our faith in Him, let the Holy Spirit encourage us, depend on Him during this time, and um, He'll bring us through. He's faithful. So, um, here we go. Now, if you're not the 95% of the world that happens to have been blessed with a voice like Celine Dion, which that includes me, I don't have her voice, and you probably don't either, but it's okay. We can still sing. God hears us. We're singing unto the Lord, and I'm making a declaration for the Holy Spirit. And so are you. You ready? All right. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Through the mountains and the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america our home sweet home you ready let's do it again god bless america land that we love Stand beside her and guide her Through the night with the light from above From the mountains, through the prairies To the oceans, white with foam God bless America, my home sweet home all right you guys ready to switch it up freedom of religion freedom of speech christ bless america land that we love stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light which is your word from above from the mountains to the prairies through the oceans white with foam God bless America Christ bless America Holy Spirit bless America God bless America our home sweet home Christ bless America my home sweet
we home through the mountains and the prairies to the oceans white with foam God bless America our home sweet home oh father we praise you we are so blessed to have this land that you birthed for americans we give you honor we thank you father for this country for each and every state we thank you father for every territory that is included in the United States, Father. We just pray, Lord Father, that your hand, God, of mercy, that we would see your hand of mercy as you bring restoration to America, that you'd pour out your mercy, pour out your grace, pour out a greater level of your love and comfort in Jesus' name. Bring healing to the hearts of your people, and I pray that millions upon millions would be saved. And I also pray, Lord, that you would open up the gospel, Lord, to many other countries, Father, in Jesus' name, that would hear of your good name and the salvation of your Son that maybe otherwise wouldn't hear normally. I pray that you'd restore Americans back to the Judeo-Christian heritage, Father, that this nation was founded upon. We honor you. But we also honor the Constitution that you gave us. And we thank you, Father, that you give people the freedom to choose whether to love you, serve you, accept you or not, God. But we pray for everyone that doesn't know you. God, if they knew how good you were, like many Christians know how good you are, they would be running into your arms, your open arms, and saying, Daddy, Daddy, I need you. Cover me. Save me. Help me. Heal me. Bless me, Lord. God, I just pray you'd open the eyes of people that don't know you. The word says that no one can come into the Father unless the Father draws them first. So God, I'm asking you to draw people to you today from the four corners of the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all see anything in there? Somebody looks like they found a watch and some pieces. I doubt that the ocean just rolled it up just like that. Looks like someone was working on it. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll take this piece right here. Oh, there's a lot of little gnat flies in there. Let's see what's in the rocks over here. probably won't see this until after Resurrection Sunday or what others call Easter usually churches call it Resurrection Sunday because it's about the resurrection of Christ but um, Easter Sunday I kind of feel like when I come here it's like I'm treasured like on an Easter egg hunt it's kind of exciting like on an Easter egg hunt you never know where you're gonna find the egg well here when you see glass hunt you never know where you're gonna find the sea glass so Anyway, let me see if I can look some more. If I find anything interesting, I'll come back all on. Right, it's time tight. to leave. Closing out with all the feral cats. There was about four of them here. I think they were hoping that I had some food to give them. But you can't feed the feral cats here. Oh, there's one right there. No food for you, mister. Get away from the car. I'm backing up now. Anyway, I think they all want to be in the picture. Bye-bye. Be good.